Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 5 of CSEC Chemistry at Edu Solutions Institute. Now today's lesson will be a quick lesson on the periodic table. So last week we looked at the atomic structure, which tells us that elements are made up of atoms and they are structured differently based on the amount of electrons they have or the amount of protons they have in their nucleus or electrons that they have on their shells. Now, the periodic table, as you can see here, is just a unique arrangement of elements in terms of different properties or different appearances of these elements. Now, as you can see, this periodic table has columns, right? And they have different rows. Now, the columns are collectively called groups. So, the periodic table is arranged in two ways, groups and periods. The columns are the groups and the periods are the rows. Now, it's unique because why do these elements arrange in this fashion? Why is hydrogen here and helium here? Why hydrogen was not over here and helium over here? And why is hydrogen here and not helium beside it or below it? So, it's very important to know why these elements are put into their different groups as well as their different periods. 